Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Kristen Richman. I am the Volunteer Engagement Manager with 365 Health. Um, so this video is how to find the resource library within the volunteer website. Um, so for the purposes of this video, I have already logged in and you are seeing <clears throat> the profile. Um, I have assumed the identity, identity of one of our um, longtime volunteer leaders, so that way this will look exactly um, the view it'll be for you. Um, so you're logged in and you're on the main side of the website. Um, so if you show up on the other side of the website, you just have to click. Um, so this is my 365 Health site. If you're on the back side of the website, it'll actually say View Site. Um, and that's how you get to the front side of the website. So let me show you that real quick. To get to the back side, you choose my 365 Health site. And then you'll come to the back side of the website, which is where you can manage all of your volunteers. Um, this up here will say your the name of your health fair. Um, <clears throat> if you aren't seeing the back side of the website and you feel like you should be seeing the back side of the website, uh, reach out to your liaison or the volunteer engagement team at ve at 365health.org. Um, and just let us know. We'll get you connected if you're not already there. Um, but the resource library is on the front side of the website. So make sure you're on the front side, click view site if you're not. Um, and then the side menu here, all the way down, resource library. And then, <clears throat> so this is the resource library. So we have planning guide sections. Um, so this is the full planning guide. Um, we will update this lab section, but if you see it in the dark blue and there's a line under it, it means you can click and you can download. So um, say, for instance, you want to start with the planning section, which I always recommend. It'll give you that timetable. Um, so I just clicked and you can see right here it downloaded onto my computer and I can click that and open it up. Um, so start with that section of the planning guide. Um, nuts and bolts newsletters. That's where we're going to store all the newsletters that we send you, um, training videos and webinar recordings. Um, so that's where this video lives and any webinars that we have will upload there. Best practices and support documents, lots of goodies in here. Um, so <clears throat> many aspects of your health fair and many documents we can support with that planning aspect. So inviting organizations to table at your health fair. We call these either sponsors, interactive education centers, or total wellness zones. And we have more information on those in this section. Um, donations are a big part of any community health fair, whether you're getting donation, food donations for your volunteers or there is a, a local organization that maybe wants to help sponsor more free blood screenings or they want to sponsor the nutrition, um, you know, the nourishment area where you get food for participants after their blood draw. Um, you know, there are so many aspects or maybe they give you free marketing support, whatever it is. You can request donations, both food and in kind with the documents we have in here. It includes our tax ID form. Um, a little bit more support on setting up and organizing the flow of your health fair, any documents you may need about around participant registration, um, any lab documents and resources. This one's really good for lab supervisors um, and centrifuge managers. So it, it tells you exactly, you know, how to set up that whole area, the flow of the centrifuge, how everything should be packed. Um, we have a lot of good resources in there. So check it out. Um, resources for managing and engaging with your volunteers. So sample emails. Um, we have that great volunteer estimator spreadsheet in there. Um, so check that out. Um, medical resources for planning a health fair. We're still working to update some of this information and the screening information for participants. Um, so check back there. But those are going to be some really good resources for you all. Um, so going back to the main resource library, so beyond the ones I've already explained, we also have the screening and station protocols. So every medical, non-medical lab area protocol is listed in here. Um, that's a really important area because if you're running some of the optional protocols, oftentimes they require um, either printing out enough copies for participants to fill out a questionnaire, like for the mental health screenings, um, or requiring um, a screener to provide um, additional equipment, like, you know, the lung screening, the lung function screening needs 
the actual machine um, that people blow into to see their lung capacity. So um, make sure you're downloading the full protocols out of this system so that way you can feel properly prepared to run every screening that you want. And then publicity tools. <clears throat> We'll have our publicity success packet. Um, it will have graphics and explanations on how to get flyers and customize your flyers and um, just everything you need around publicity for your local health fair. So that is the resource library. If you have any questions, please reach out to your liaison or the volunteer engagement department and we would be happy to help. Thank you so much.